All right, and in this video, I want to show you how to set up your first email list as well as create an email form so you can start capturing email addresses. So the first thing you're going to do is register. Once you're inside the website, you're going to go on the left-hand side of the screen if you're on your desktop, for example, and you're going to click on mailing list. Then on the top right-hand side, you're going to click on the create new list button, and you're going to give your email list a name. This example, I'm just going to type in list number one. Click on save. The next thing you can do is decide to add anything in addition to name and email address because those are the two fields that come standard with creating your mailing list. If you want to add an additional field such as phone or mailing address, click on the custom fields button and then click on the add a new custom field button Next, you want to give a name to the box that you want to have filled in, such as telephone number. So for that, you can just type in, for example, phone, and then choose to either allow it as text or number. And the other thing you can choose to do is to have it either as a required form or an optional form. And once you're done making your choices, click on the Save Custom Field button. And that's it for now. The next thing you need to do is connect your mailing list to your website. Let me show you what that looks like. To connect your website with Moosehead, click on the top right hand circle and then go down and select websites from the list. Once you're here, click on the add website button. Then look on the left hand side and where it says website domain, put in your domain name. Then click on the next button. And at this point you've now created your website ID. Okay, so now we've got the ID. We need to now connect this to the website so it knows that a specific website is tied to this specific mailing list. If you're using a website creator like WordPress, or Moosehead already has a plugin that you can install. So let's go ahead and go to my WordPress example. So I'm on WordPress right now, and the first thing I want to do is install the plugin. So I'm going to go to the left hand side here, and then I'm going to select Add New. Then in the search box, I want to type in Moosend, and then here's the plugin. So I'm going to click on Install Now, then I'm going to click on Activate. And now I'm at the list of plugins, so I'm going to scroll down to find the Moosend plugin. And I'm going to click on Settings. Next, I want to enter the ID, so I'm going to go and copy the ID from the website. Go back here, right mouse click, paste that in, and click on Save Changes. Now, what I also need to do is verify that the website has connected. What I need to do is visit the website so it activates that plugin. Since I already have it on the screen here, I'm just going to click on Refresh. I'm going to go back over to Mooseend, and I'm going to go over to Websites. So to do that, I'm going to click on the top right head button, go down and click on Websites, look for the domain name that I added, and on the right-hand side, look to see that Verified has been turned into a blue button. So now it's been verified. After this, I want to add a form to the website so I can capture email addresses. So to do that, I'm going to go to the left-hand side of the screen and click on Lead Generation. And then I'm going to click on Subscription Forms. Then on the top right-hand side, I'm going to click on Create New. And there's going to be some different variations of the type of form that you can use. I'm going to use the inline form so it's inside of the web page. So I'm going to click on Create. Then I'm going to give a name to this form here. And I'm going to click on Next and then I'm going to click on take me to the designer so I can edit that form okay so now it's going to give me the different variations and just to save time I'm going to select the top left hand side template so I'm going to click on that and I'm not going to change anything here I'm going to go ahead and just click on proceed to next step click on proceed click on OK and now it's generated the script that I need to then insert into the web page where I want it to appear but before I do that I want to scroll down here a little bit and look at the conditional rules. So for now, I'm going to leave this alone, and I'm going to click on Next. That's going to take me over to the publishing screen. Here, I want to click on this button here that says Currently Off. Turn it to On. Below that, there's a button here. I'm going to click on that down arrow, 
and select the domain name that I'm working with and click on next and now it's displaying the form that I selected from the templates. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on publish. Next I'm going to go back and grab the script that I need. Now on the left hand side I'm going to click on visibility settings and there's the script again so I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go back over to my WordPress site and I'm going to go over to pages and in this example I'm going to click on the contact us page and as I'm looking over this form here I want to enter the email form here where it says email form. So to do that I'm going to click on the text tab on the right hand side so I can see the code and here where it says email form I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to control V for paste and enter the script where I want the form to appear. Next I'm going to click on visual and then I'm going to scroll down and click on update. Once that's been updated I want to take a look to see that the form appears on the form. So here either on permalink or above where it says view page I'm going to right mouse click and click on open a new tab. I'm going to open up the page and I can see now that the form has appeared on the form where I want it to appear. Okay, so far I've shown you how to display a web form on WordPress. However, what if you're using some other website, some free website or your own HTML page, and you want to make a display there? Well, as long as you have control over the web page and you know what the domain name is, you can make it work. There's only two things you really need to do. You need to insert some code into the head section of the HTML, and then you need to insert the script where the form is supposed to appear. So let me show you what that looks like using a software program. It's an old program called Front Page. So this is the program. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert into the code here, right before the end of the head section, I'm going to insert code there, plus in the body of the page, for example, let's say I want to make the form sh show up here. I'm going to make it appear right here in the middle. So again, two things script that goes into the head section and then the script that displays the form. So what you'll need to do is go back over to Moosehead. Once you're inside your account you're going to go over to lead generation where the forms are at, click on subscription forms, then go to the form that you created, go to the far right hand side and click on the settings little icon. Once you're there click on visibility settings. So you've got the script here that you need to insert where you want the form to appear. So click on copy, go to your program, and in this example I want it to appear again where it says email form. So I'm going to go to the code, which is in the HTML section, and right here where it says email form. I'm just going to highlight it, and I'm going to paste that in. Alright, I'm going to go back over to Moosehead, and the next thing I need to do is on the top right hand side click on that symbol or the icon for settings go down and click on websites. As long as you know the domain and where that page is in that domain, all you have to do is go to add a website and follow the same steps we did before. So in this example, I'm going to click on D4U services and then I'm going to scroll down, go near the bottom and right here where it says custom installation, copy that, go back over to your program and right before the ending of the head, you're going to paste and then change back over to your design view. And for my example, I need to give my page a name and save it. Okay, now I'm going to take this page, I'm going to save it, and then upload it to my web hosting service. And then I'm going to bring it up on the internet. Here I've uploaded it to my web hosting service. So you'll see here it says form1.html, and it's inside of my domain of d4uservices.com. I'm going to type that into my browser. So it's a d4uservices.com forward slash form1.html and now it appears on my web page. Let's continue now to the next step. Now the next thing I want to do is make sure that when somebody types in their email address they're redirected to a specific web page that I want them to see immediately after signing in. So to do that I'm going to go back over to Moosehead. You need to be in the section of your form settings. You're going to click on layout and content 
and then where it says take me to the designer click on that button and now you're in the section where you can actually redesign your form from here you're going to click on the button to subscribe then go over to the left hand side and scroll down and right below where it says on submit right now it says display a successor error message what we want to do is click on that button and then click on redirect to external URL and a box comes up that says redirect URL inside of here type in the web address of wherever you want your visitors to go to after they have entered their email address and clicked on the button for my example I'm gonna type in yahoo.com the other thing you need to do is select the mailing list that you want these subscribers to be added to next go to the far right top side and click on proceed to the next step and click on OK to confirm. Once you've been redirected back to Moosehead, go back to your web page where you have the email form and then subscribe to your own form to see if it redirects to the correct web page. Click on your subscribe button and see where it takes you. If you've been redirected to the page you entered into the form, then you'll know your form is working correctly. Okay, so now you know how to create an email list with Moosehead. You know how to create an email form you also know how to redirect people to any page you want to once they enter their email address. But remember that Mooseend also has list segmentation tools inside. You can also get analytics reports as well as build automated funnels. Now I also want to mention that if your email list gets really large and start to wonder how you can save even more money, there's an email marketing software by Interspire that you should take a look at. It also includes a professional and robust autoresponder system Plus, it can also give you a fully detailed email report. You can also get a graphical email split testing report. Plus, it also has a unique feature that allows you to send email on specific dates. Plus, there's an additional very powerful feature that allows you to process bounced versus unbounced emails, therefore allowing you to eliminate non-working email addresses. Plus, you can keep a running log of all your correspondence to every email address. But again, this is only if you want 100% control of your email marketing and reduce your email costs. And the cost for an Interspire lifetime license is only $495. If you want to learn more about Interspire, click on the link below or click on the Musen link below and create your email autoresponder form today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.